Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this analysis of power, ambition, and the strategies needed to navigate the intricate world of office politics. We often perceive office politics as a murky, even treacherous aspect of professional life. However, like the unseen currents beneath a calm sea, they are ever-present, influencing decisions, shaping careers, and determining who rises to the top. To deny their existence is akin to setting sail without a rudder at the mercy of unpredictable winds. It is within this shadowy realm, where ambition and strategy intertwine, that we delve today. Throughout history, from the sun-drenched battlefields of ancient Rome to the opulent courts of Renaissance Europe, the ability to navigate the political landscape has separated the victors from the vanquished. We'll be exploring classic historical examples, drawing parallels to the modern workplace, and equipping you with the knowledge and tools to not only survive, but thrive in this complex arena. Power, as the saying goes, is a game of chess, and the office is our board. Each player, from the ambitious intern to the seasoned CEO, makes their moves seeking to advance their position and achieve their goals. But unlike chess, where the rules are clearly defined, the game of office politics often operates in a realm of unspoken rules and subtle gestures. It is a game of influence, perception, and strategic alliances. Consider the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, who skillfully navigated the treacherous waters of the English court. Surrounded by ambitious nobles and facing threats from both within and beyond her kingdom, she employed a potent blend of charm, intelligence, and ruthlessness to maintain her grip on power. Her story, like many others from the annals of history, offers valuable lessons for today's professionals. By understanding the timeless principles of power dynamics, we can become more adept at reading between the lines, anticipating challenges, and making choices that propel us towards success. In the hushed corridors of power, knowledge is indeed power. To master the art of office politics, one must develop an acute awareness of the unseen forces at play. Just as a seasoned general studies the terrain before a battle, we must become keen observers of our surroundings. Who holds the real influence? What are the unspoken alliances and rivalries? Where do loyalties lie? These are the questions we must ask ourselves, for in the answers lie the keys to our own advancement. Remember the tale of Julius Caesar, a master strategist who rose to prominence in the tumultuous world of Roman politics. His ability to forge alliances, exploit weaknesses, and manipulate perceptions ultimately led him to the pinnacle of power. While we may not aspire to conquer nations, Caesar's strategic brilliance offers valuable lessons for navigating the modern workplace. By understanding the motivations and desires of those around us, we can position ourselves for success and avoid the pitfalls that trap the unwary. Mastering office politics is not about engaging in cutthroat tactics or backstabbing colleagues. It is about building a reputation as a valuable and trustworthy ally someone who can be relied upon to get things done and navigate complex situations. It is about cultivating relationships, fostering collaboration and understanding the delicate balance between assertiveness and diplomacy. In the words of Sun Tzu, the ancient Chinese military strategist, the supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. Similarly, Success in the modern workplace often hinges on our ability to achieve our goals while maintaining positive relationships and fostering a spirit of collaboration. This requires a delicate touch, a nuanced understanding of human psychology, and a willingness to embrace the art of persuasion. In the upcoming sections, 
We will delve deeper into these concepts, exploring practical strategies and real-world examples that will empower you to navigate the complexities of office politics with confidence and grace. Ah, ancient Rome, a veritable tapestry of ambition, intrigue and ruthless power plays. Amidst the grandeur of the Colosseum and the Senate, we find history's most compelling political manoeuvres. Julius Caesar, synonymous with ambition, understood the winding path to power. He navigated obstacles with charisma, strategic brilliance and human insight. Caesar knew when to forge alliances and exploit weaknesses, his mastery of impression management showed the power of perception. He projected unwavering confidence, inspiring loyalty and instilling fear. But Caesar was not alone in his mastery of the political game. Let us journey now to the opulent courts of 18th century Russia, where we encounter another formidable figure, Catherine the Great. Catherine's story is one of remarkable resilience and political cunning. Ascending to the throne through a combination of strategic alliances and sheer force of will, she faced constant challenges to her authority. Yet, she managed to not only survive but thrive in this cutthroat environment, transforming Russia into a major European power during her reign. How did she accomplish this? Catherine understood that in the lion's den of the Russian court, knowledge was indeed power. She surrounded herself with trusted advisers, carefully cultivating a network of informants who kept her abreast of the ever-shifting political landscape. She mastered the art of diplomacy, skillfully playing rival factions against each other while always maintaining a firm grip on the reins of power. Her reign serves as a testament to the importance of building a strong power base, anticipating threats and never underestimating the value of strategic alliances. Now, some might argue that such examples of political manoeuvring are all well and good for emperors and empresses, but what relevance do they hold for the modern professional? The answer, my friends, is more than you might think. The fundamental principles of power dynamics remain remarkably consistent. In the competitive arena of the corporate world, the ability to anticipate your opponent's moves, mask your own intentions, and adapt to changing circumstances can mean the difference between success and failure. the eagle's vision, strategic alliances and partnerships. But cunning alone is not enough. Just as the eagle surveys the landscape from a lofty height, we too must develop a keen awareness of the broader playing field. This involves identifying potential allies, understanding their motivations, and cultivating mutually beneficial relationships. Remember, in the workplace, as in nature, there is strength in numbers. Forming strategic alliances can provide you with valuable support, amplify your influence and open doors to new opportunities. This might involve connecting with colleagues in different departments, seeking out mentors who can guide your career or even befriending the office gossip who always seems to have the inside scoop. Remember, building relationships takes time and effort. It requires genuine interest, active listening, and a willingness to offer support in return. But the rewards in terms of enhanced career prospects and a stronger professional network are well worth the investment. The balance of power, maintaining equilibrium. Now, a word of caution. While ambition and strategic thinking are essential for navigating the complexities of office politics, it is crucial to maintain a sense of balance. Overly aggressive tactics, such as backstabbing colleagues, 
or taking credit for others' work may yield short-term gains but will ultimately damage your reputation and undermine your long-term success. Remember, the goal is not to become a Machiavellian mastermind, feared and distrusted by all. Rather, it is to cultivate a reputation as a valuable and trustworthy colleague, someone who can be relied upon to get things done while maintaining positive relationships and fostering a spirit of collaboration. This requires a delicate touch, a nuanced understanding of human psychology and a willingness to embrace the art of persuasion rather than coercion. The Fox and the Lion Machiavelli's Guide to Power Niccolò Machiavelli, synonymous with political cunning, wrote The Prince a controversial treatise on power. He argued that in power, pragmatism often trumps morality. Better to be feared than loved, he wrote, stressing strength and resolve. His writings offer lessons for navigating office politics and power dynamics. The Virgin Queen's Court, Mastering the Art of Influence. From the ruthless pragmatism of Machiavelli, we journey now to the court of Elizabeth I, the Virgin Queen, who ruled England with a potent blend of intelligence, charisma, and political acumen. Elizabeth understood that true power lay not merely in wielding authority, but in shaping perceptions and influencing the hearts and minds of her subjects. She cultivated an image of herself as a benevolent yet formidable ruler, a protector of her people and a shrewd diplomat who could navigate the treacherous waters of international relations. One of Elizabeth's most effective strategies was her mastery of what we might call the personal touch. She understood the importance of building relationships, of making people feel heard and valued, even if it was merely a strategic illusion. She would often shower her courtiers with gifts and favours, strategically dispensing her patronage to foster loyalty and discourage dissent. Her reign serves as a reminder that in the game of power, charm and strategic generosity can be just as effective as brute force. The Sun King's shadow, the perils of absolute power. Yet the story of Louis XIV, the Sun King of France, offers a cautionary tale about the perils of unchecked power and the importance of cultivating genuine allies rather than merely subservient followers. Louis, known for his lavish court and his belief in the divine right of kings, ruled France with an iron fist, centralizing power and demanding absolute obedience from his subjects. While his reign marked a period of French dominance in Europe, his autocratic style and his relentless pursuit of glory ultimately sowed the seeds of discontent that would lead to revolution in the following century. Louis' story reminds us that true leadership lies not in wielding absolute power, but in inspiring and empowering others. Building a strong and enduring legacy requires more than just issuing commands from a gilded throne. It demands empathy, collaboration and a willingness to share power and recognize the contributions of others. In the workplace, as in the grand palaces of history, fostering a culture of fear and subservience will ultimately backfire, hindering innovation and stifling growth. The Enlightenment Game, Reason and Revolution in the Workplace. As we move into the 18th century, the Age of Enlightenment ushered in a new era of reason, challenging traditional hierarchies and emphasizing the importance of individual liberty and meritocracy. This philosophical shift had a profound impact on the dynamics of power, both in the political sphere and in the burgeoning world of commerce and industry. The rise of capitalism and the Industrial Revolution created new avenues for advancement where individuals could rise through the ranks based on their skills and entrepreneurial spirit, rather than solely on their lineage or social standing. This era witnessed the emergence of figures like Benjamin Franklin, 
a self-made man who embodied the Enlightenment ideals of industriousness, ingenuity and social mobility. Franklin's story, and the countless others like it from this period of rapid change, reminds us that in the modern workplace, while navigating office politics remains important, it is equally crucial to cultivate one's talents, embrace innovation, and demonstrate a commitment to excellence. From palace intrigue to corporate climb, Timeless Principles, Modern Applications. As we've journeyed through history, from the Roman Senate to the court of the Sun King, we've encountered timeless principles of power dynamics that remain remarkably relevant in the modern workplace. While the battlefields may have shifted from grand palaces to corporate boardrooms, the fundamental strategies for navigating office politics remain surprisingly consistent. Whether you're aiming for a promotion, seeking to secure a coveted project, or simply striving to thrive in a competitive environment, understanding these principles can provide you with a distinct advantage. Remember, mastering office politics is not about engaging in cutthroat tactics or manipulating others for personal gain. It's about developing a keen awareness of the forces at play, building strategic alliances, and honing your skills of persuasion and influence. It's about understanding that the workplace, like the grand stage of history, is a realm where perception often shapes reality and where the ability to navigate the complexities of human interaction can be just as crucial as technical expertise. The Titans of Industry power plays in the Steel Age. The dawn of the 20th century saw industrial titans like Andrew Carnegie and John D. Rockefeller. They wielded power and influence rivaling kings and emperors. Carnegie, a Scottish immigrant, became the king of steel through strategic alliances and vertical integration. He controlled every aspect of steel production, amassing a fortune. In the corporate world, those who control resources hold the keys to the kingdom. The Oil Barons Game, securing empires and shaping nations. Meanwhile, John D. Rockefeller, the enigmatic figure behind Standard Oil, revolutionized the oil industry, employing a combination of shrewd business tactics and relentless expansion to establish a near monopoly on American oil production. Rockefeller understood the power of scale and efficiency. He ruthlessly undercut his competitors, driving many out of business, and then strategically acquired their assets, consolidating his control over the market. While his methods were often criticized as monopolistic, there's no denying Rockefeller's business acumen and his understanding of the competitive landscape. He recognized that in a rapidly evolving industry, standing still was not an option. Rockefeller's story teaches us that in the cutthroat world of business, sometimes you have to play hardball to come out on top. It's about recognizing opportunities seizing the initiative and not being afraid to make bold moves to secure your position and outmaneuver your rivals. Remember, the business world is not for the faint of heart. It requires a certain level of ruthlessness, a willingness to make tough decisions and a clear vision of your goals. The rise of the tech titans disruption, innovation, and the new power elite. Fast forward to the late 20th century and the rise of Silicon Valley ushers in a new breed of power players, the tech titans. Figures like Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, and more recently Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk have disrupted entire industries, reshaping the global economy and redefining the very nature of power in the digital age. These innovators and entrepreneurs, armed with nothing more than their vision and their technological prowess, have toppled established giants, 
created vast fortunes and in some cases amassed influence that extends far beyond the boardroom, shaping public opinion and influencing government policy. Their stories highlight the importance of innovation, adaptability and a relentless pursuit of progress. In the fast-paced world of technology, those who fail to adapt, to anticipate the next big trend, risk being left behind. Remember, the digital age has leveled the playing field in many ways. It's no longer enough to simply be big or established. To thrive in this environment, you need to be agile, innovative and constantly evolving. From factory floors to corner offices, the evolution of corporate warfare. As the nature of work itself has changed, so too has the battleground of office politics. Gone are the days when success was solely determined by your ability to schmooze the boss or play the company golf game. Today's workplace is a more complex and nuanced environment where technical skills, emotional intelligence and a keen understanding of the political landscape all play a crucial role in determining who gets ahead. It's no longer enough to simply be good at your job. You need to be able to navigate the often unwritten rules of office etiquette, build relationships with key stakeholders and position yourself strategically to advance your career. Remember, the modern workplace is a dynamic and ever-evolving ecosystem. To thrive in this environment, you need to be adaptive, resilient and constantly honing your skills, both technical and interpersonal. The art of the deal, negotiation, persuasion and the power of yes. One skill that has become increasingly valuable in the modern workplace is the art of negotiation. Whether you're negotiating a salary increase, vying for a promotion, or simply trying to get your ideas heard. The ability to effectively communicate your value and persuade others to see your point of view is essential. This involves active listening, empathy, and a willingness to find common ground. It's about understanding the other person's motivations, identifying their pain points, and framing your arguments in a way that resonates with their needs and desires. Remember, negotiation is not about winning or losing. It's about finding a mutually beneficial solution that moves everyone forward. It's about building trust, fostering collaboration, and creating win-win scenarios that benefit everyone involved. Decoding the Unwritten Rules A Guide to Corporate Decorum Navigating office politics requires more than just technical skills. It demands understanding the unspoken rules of corporate decorum. Communication is key. It's not just what you say, but how you say it. Tone, body language and word choice convey professionalism and emotional intelligence. Warmth and competence in communication build trust and influence. These traits lead to promotions and strong relationships. Observe and adapt to social cues for effective communication. The art of networking. Building bridges in the corporate labyrinth. Building a strong network is like having a map to hidden treasures. Cultivate relationships, foster trust and create a web of support. Networking is about genuine connections, not just business cards. Offer support, share knowledge and be there for others. LinkedIn's 2016 study shows 85% of jobs are filled through networking. Networking is an ongoing process. Nurture relationships and seek collaboration. Managing up, down and sideways. Mastering the art of influence. Mastering the art of influence is essential for navigating the complex web of relationships in the modern workplace. Managing up involves communicating with superiors and demonstrating your value. Managing down means guiding and supporting your team to achieve their potential. 
Managing sideways involves building strong relationships with peers and fostering collaboration. Building your personal brand. Crafting your narrative for success. In today's job market, it's not enough to be good at your job. Stand out, differentiate yourself and build a personal brand showcasing your unique skills and values. Your personal brand is your unique value proposition, the story you tell the world. Highlight your strengths, accomplishments and aspirations consistently across all platforms. A 2018 study found 70% of employers use social media to screen candidates. Build a strong online presence reflecting your professional brand. Your personal brand is about identifying your authentic strengths and values. Resilience and adaptability. Weathering the storms of corporate life. The corporate world, much like the open sea, can be unpredictable and unforgiving. Storms will arise, testing your resolve and knocking you off course. Resilience and adaptability are your most valuable assets. Resilience is bouncing back stronger from adversity. Adaptability is adjusting to change and thriving in uncertainty. High resilience and adaptability lead to higher performance and job satisfaction. The corporate world is a marathon, not a sprint. Your ability to weather storms and adapt will determine your success. The Echoes of History We've journeyed through history, witnessing the rise and fall of empires and the timeless principles of power dynamics shaping our world today. From Julius Caesar's strategic brilliance to Queen Elizabeth of Ever's diplomacy, the past resonates in our workplaces. These figures navigated complex landscapes, leveraging human nature and strategic alliances to achieve their goals. Their stories offer invaluable lessons for today's professionals. The Modern Colosseum While the settings may have changed, from grand palaces and ancient battlefields to sleek corporate boardrooms and virtual meeting spaces, the fundamental principles of power dynamics remain remarkably consistent. The modern workplace, with its intricate hierarchies, competing agendas and ever-present pressure to perform, is, in many ways, our own Colosseum. In this modern arena, we face many of the same challenges as our historical counterparts. The need to build alliances, to navigate complex relationships, to manage up, down and sideways, and to present ourselves strategically to those in positions of authority. Your path to triumph. As we conclude our exploration of office politics, Remember that you are not alone in this journey. Just as a skilled charioteer relies on a well-trained team to guide them to victory, so too can you rely on the support and guidance of M. Joga Coaching and Consulting to navigate the complexities of your career path. Our team of experienced coach and consultants understands the challenges you face, and we're here to provide you with the tools, strategies, and personalized support you need to achieve your professional aspirations. Whether you're seeking a promotion, navigating a difficult workplace relationship, or simply looking to enhance your leadership skills and maximize your potential, we are your trusted allies in the quest for career excellence. Remember the words of the ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Take that step today. Book a complimentary career breakthrough call with M. Joga Coaching and Consulting and let us help you navigate your path to triumph. The Legacy You Build Throughout this exploration, we have ventured through the annals of history, drawing upon the wisdom and experiences of those who have navigated the intricate dance of power and influence before us. From the strategic brilliance of Caesar to the calculated charm of Elizabeth I, 
The lessons of the past serve as invaluable guideposts for navigating the corporate landscape of today. Remember, the principles of power, like the laws of physics, transcend time and context. The ability to anticipate your opponent's moves, to build strategic alliances, to master the art of persuasion. These are skills honed over centuries, passed down through generations of leaders and now available to you. But remember, true power, the kind that leaves a lasting legacy, is not merely about climbing the corporate ladder or amassing a collection of titles. It is about the impact you have on others, the contributions you make to your field, and the values you embody in your interactions with colleagues and competitors alike. your journey to excellence. As we conclude our journey, I invite you to reflect on the lessons we have uncovered and to envision the legacy you wish to build. The road to success is rarely linear. It is paved with challenges to overcome, opportunities to seize, and choices that will shape the course of your journey. Remember, you're not alone in this endeavor. At M. Yoga Coaching and Consulting, we are dedicated to empowering individuals like you to achieve their full potential. Our team of experienced coach and consultants is here to provide you with the tools, the strategies, and the personalized guidance you need to navigate the complexities of your career path. Whether you are seeking a promotion, navigating a difficult work relationship, or simply striving to enhance your leadership skills and make a meaningful impact, we are your trusted allies in the pursuit of excellence. Take that first step towards unlocking your full potential. Book a complimentary career breakthrough call with Njoga Coaching and Consulting today. Remember, as Nelson Mandela once said, it always seems impossible until it's done.